Number seven, what is the conjugate acid of each of the following? And then what is the conjugate base of each? Then we have letter B. So in this case, we have to find both the conjugate acid and the conjugate base of H2O. Now, if you can find both the conjugate acid and a conjugate base of a single molecule, in this case H2O, this molecule is amphoteric. That means that this can act as both an acid and a base. If it was acting as an acid, we can find the conjugate base. And if this was acting as a base, we could find the conjugate acid. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to split this down the middle, and we're going to work uh, in parts. We'll do the acid to the conjugate base on this side, and then the base to the conjugate acid on this side. So for right now, I'm just going to say, OK, we're starting with H2O. If this is acting as an acid, we could find the conjugate base by doing two things. Remember, bases always have one less hydrogen than the acid, so you got to lose a hydrogen. So I'm just going to put an arrow here just showing that we're doing work. And now, just drop a hydrogen, right? I had two hydrogen, but now, oopsie, we're knocking it down to only one. So technically, you could say HO, right? But... Generally, if you see HO, we move the H to the other side, and you might realize that this is a polyatomic that we know and love. We've seen this guy before, right? But let's just make sure that we know the charge. You always have to minus one or subtract one from the original charge. If I looked at the water, there was no charge in the upper right-hand corner. That means that it was zero. So zero minus one is a negative one. Or we could just say a negative. And that, my friends, is your conjugate base. Halfway done with the problem. Now we have to do the same exact idea, but now we're just going to treat it as a base to get the conjugate acid. And by the way, conjugate just means like corresponding in chemistry. So with acids and bases, you're always going to find a conjugate acid or base, and the conjugate will always be on the product side. So here we go. If we're treating this as a base to gain an acid, right, to make an acid, you're always going to be one hydrogen more. So I have two hydrogens, so I got to just bump this number up. So instead of H2O, it would be H3O. And you might recognize this polyatomic as well, but let's just get the charge, right? If you're going to find a conjugate acid, you just plus one to the overall charge. Just like we said before, water had a zero charge. So zero plus one is a positive one. Or you could just say a plus. And that is your conjugate acid. And these are going to be super important throughout this whole uh, chapter, right? OH minus is hydroxide. Memorize this it would be much easier. We're going to be seeing hydroxide all over the place. OH is all over the place. And H3O plus is hydronium, the conjugate acid of water. We could also see hydronium, as we saw in earlier questions, as, a, as just H plus, but they are equivalent in what they do. All right? So hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. And tell your friends, tell your classmates that this cool YouTube channel exists. we got physics and math videos coming out. We also have them already, but more to come, all right? So go check the channel out. See you later. Bye-bye.